Hey guys, it's Michelle from Two Brothers Blankets. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for uh, being a part of the Kristen Cardigan release party. I'm up here in my craft room, I guess you could call it. It's like a little loft in our upstairs. There's the Kristen Cardigan. Yay! Um, I have your questions. I wrote them down on little index cards, and I tried to group them together on like sort of same topic so that we can get through them and you're not having to watch like a 30-minute video. So, let's go ahead and get started. First question, how old were you when you learned to crochet? I was 24 years old, and I'm 28 now, so I've been crocheting for four years. Who taught you? I taught myself. I went to Walmart, and I bought a hook, and I think it was an eye hook, which is still my favorite hook, and a little crochet, how-to crochet book, and I taught myself. I was pregnant with my youngest, and... I actually stopped after he was born. I learned like the basics. And then after he was born, I didn't pick it up for a really long time until like almost his first birthday. And then I picked it back up and couldn't put it down at all. <laughs> um, I also used a lot of YouTube. Lots of YouTube. And how did I come up with the name Two Brothers Blankets? I get asked this one a lot. Um, and it's fun. Um, I started out selling my finished products, which is a, what a lot of you do. And I wanted to to have an Etsy and the Facebook page and all that so I was like I gotta have a name and I couldn't think of a name I knew I liked to make blankets so I was like well maybe I can incorporate that in the name somehow and then uh oh I'm falling down sorry guys there we go and then I um now I lost my train of thought oh blankets I like to make blankets and so me and my husband were talking about it and I was like what about two brothers blankets that's catchy it's cute and I have two boys so how's that sound and he's like yeah that's cool I like that and so it stuck and I still like love the name I don't know it's different it's unique it's catchy and I still have two boys so no more babies here <laughs> um, so yeah that's how I came up with the name next question what inspired you to become a designer um, Honestly, designing is the last thing I thought I would ever do. Like, I would see these pattern designers and these patterns, and I was like, how do they come up with that? Where do they get, like, how do they even figure out the math? How do they, how? It's impossible. And I was like, there was no way. Um, and then I made, I designed the Amelia Ear Warmer, which is, like, the easiest pattern ever. Um, and a lot of people liked it. And then the... Spring Breeze sweater blouse was something I had. I wanted some a sweater, but like not hot sweater that you'd wear only in winter. And I was like, well, I can try it. Let me see if I can do it myself. I couldn't find any, you know, any other patterns that I wanted. So I tried it, and it's one that is getting updated this year for sure because there's a lot of sewing in it, and I'm gonna update it to where there's not a lot of sewing. But I did it, and people liked it, and like other crocheters I had talked to liked it and they were like yeah you should get it tested write a pattern out it's, it's easy you know you it's easy to figure up length height width whatever see if other you know get it tested and see if others can do it so I did and they did and uh, I uploaded it to Ravelry and it sold like crazy <laughs> like way more at least way more than I expected it to and like the first weekend I put it on sale it made way more than I expected. It sold a lot. It, you know, shared all over Facebook and everything. And so I was just like, whoa, you know, this is cool. This is really fun. And so then I got another idea and another idea. And that's just kind of how it happened. Um, I definitely, like, like, some of the patterns from, like, my early days as a designer, I'm embarrassed by. <laughs> and that's why I'm updating them. Because... Um, yeah, it's a big learning process. It, there's a lot of, I'm still learning a lot, um, but it's fun. And so, yep, that's how I got started. Um, how long have I been in business? I opened up Two Brothers Blankets Etsy shop in 2000, January of 2013, and I published my first pattern in February of 2014. So, two years, P designing three years um, as Two Brothers Blankets. What pattern has been your biggest challenge? Uh, definitely the Kristen Cardigan. Like I said, it almost didn't happen. I wanted it just right. I frogged a ton. Um, sizing, I wanted to get sizing right. I, the trim, I had a, something in mind for the trim 
the whole time made it and hated it and so frogged it and did a whole different trim which I love now um, so yeah it was it was a challenge it was a big challenge um, but it's totally worth it uh, how much time does it take for you to design a pattern this is complicated because it depends um, usually I don't know it may be a month start to finish I get an idea I'll um, work it up I don't one of the questions was do you use a sketchbook or a computer new no. I just get it in my head I can't draw or anything like that so it's in my head it goes from my head to my hands I crochet it and I write it like write down my notes as I go and then I show it to my testers and make sure they like it and if they like it then they, it gets a good response from them I do the math, I write it up for the other sizes, I type up the pattern, and then I have them test it. And I usually give my testers two to three weeks, depending on the size. If it's a scarf, maybe a week or two. If it, you know, this, the Kristen cardigan, they got three weeks. Um, so then I get it photographed. I work with a really great photographer now that takes pictures of my um, designs for me. And I photograph it, I advertise it, and then we release it. And so usually, I mean, like this, this has been January, so it's it's been almost two months, a month and a half with the Kristen cardigan since I got the idea and started. Uh, but start to finish, maybe a month, give or take, three weeks to a month, I don't know, something like that. Um, where do you find your inspiration? I get inspiration from everywhere. Um, stitches, sometimes, like the Sarah scarf, I found the stitch pattern in a crochet book, you know, stitching design you know stitch patterns book and I tweaked it a little bit changed a little bit up and I was like this would be cute as a scarf and that's where the Sarah scarf came as um, clothing my sweaters and stuff I get it from all over I get it from clothes and I'll be like that would be cute in crochet and so I'll try to create a similar crochet version um, clothes I like clothes my boys like you know I do the Isaac sweater and the Upper East Side sweater uh, because there's not enough boys patterns out there. Let's just, yeah, there's not enough. <laughs> so I wanted some boy sweaters. Um, the Upper East Side sweater is actually quite funny because the inspiration came from the show Gossip Girl. <laughs> um, I was watching it on Netflix and those boys in that show dressed so sharp and I loved their little sweaters and their with the collars and they'd have you know their suits and everything it's so you know nice and sophisticated and fancy and so and you know they're in the Upper East Side if you've watched that show and so the Upper East Side sweater was inspired by Gossip Girl um, but yeah all over all over I get the inspiration my favorite design is probably right now it's the Kristen cardigan because I'm really excited about it um but other than the christening cardigan, paisley poncho, and the LeMail sweater. Um, both of those I love and I wear often. Um, is that it? I feel like I'm missing one. Here we go. How do you find time to crochet with the littles at home? I have two boys. Um, one is seven and one is four. The seven-year-old goes to school all day long, so... It's not a big deal with him. And the four-year-old goes three days a week, um, half days, three, you know, till like 12. And so I crochet in the mornings when he is, and I, you know, do my work and all that and while he's at school. And sometimes in the afternoon, yes, my four-year-old gets tablet time. <laughs> um, but not as much. I mean, we do stuff. And so afternoons are busy with the kids. And then at night, I crochet a lot. Um, I'm sliding again. Um, yeah, I crochet for a good four hours at night, three or four hours after the kids go to bed. And my husband goes to bed early, too, because he goes to work early in the morning. Um, so, and he's great. He, anytime he's off, he work. he has random days off. He helps with the boys, lets me work. The big thing, like, this year is we've, we're really taking it seriously as a business. It's not just, you know, hey, this is some extra money, this is fun for me you know it's it's become a business and so we take I treat it like my job and work and he does too he takes it seriously so he definitely has been so helpful helping me get my work done and meet my the deadlines I give myself and stuff like that um 
are there any other designers who inspire me? Pam from Sincerely Pam is great. She has been so helpful. Um, I've asked her probably a million questions. <laughs> and she's been so, so, so nice. And all her work is amazing. And she really inspires me. Um, I am also part of, I'm part of the Mad Mad Makers. If you haven't heard of them, check them out on Facebook. They're awesome. It's a whole group of handmade maker. We make handmade items, patterns, crochet, finished items, jewelry, everything. And those girls, the women, they inspire me a ton because they are such hard workers and they, um, they make amazing things. And so I learn a lot from them and I get inspired a lot by them. They're just, they're great. Um, and I think that's all the questions. If I missed your question, I will answer them on Facebook. I'll just comment below. And, um, answer them. So I want to get all of them answered. But I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I didn't sound too crazy and I probably said um way too many times. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. But I think it's great to like get to know the designer behind the design and you can see me and it, so that way next time you're working on one of my designs you'll feel like you know me and you know how it went and you know how I designed it. So anyways, I can't wait till the uh, pattern release, Kristen Carden releases tomorrow. It'll be probably be up tonight when I go to bed. Um, I'll put it up right before I go to bed and don't worry, it'll be on sale too. So I'm excited and I hope you'll tune in tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.